Before we begin, remember, this information is for education and self-protection only, not for harming or exploiting others. Use what you learn to protect yourself and your community. Cybernexia's mission is to help you stay safe in our connected world. Cybersecurity affects everyone, and learning to protect your devices is essential. Think of cybersecurity like locking your front door. Don't leave your digital life unprotected. This series is not for malicious use. Misusing these techniques is illegal and unethical. We condemn any harmful actions. By understanding how hackers operate, you can better defend yourself and spot threats. Ethical hackers use these skills to protect, not attack. Our goal is to help you become a vigilant digital citizen. Stay alert and informed. Awareness is your best defense. Share this knowledge. The more people who understand cybersecurity, the safer we all are. Support our mission by subscribing to Cybernexia and help make the internet safer for everyone. Together, we can build a secure online community for all. Knowledge is power. Use it to protect and make a positive impact. Let's get started. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and begin your cybersecurity journey now. When you pick up your phone and make a call, you probably assume that your conversation is private, just between you and the person on the other end. It feels natural to trust that your words are safe, shielded from prying ears by technology and the expectation of privacy. After all, we use our phones for everything, sharing secrets, discussing business, and even handling sensitive financial matters. But have you ever stopped to wonder who else might be listening? In today's hyper-connected world, the reality is that phone calls are not always as private as we think. With millions of calls happening every minute and people relying on their devices everywhere, from bustling city streets to quiet offices, the risk of someone eavesdropping is higher than ever before. Phone call hacking, also known as eavesdropping, is a very real and growing threat. Hackers and cyber criminals have developed sophisticated tools to intercept your conversations in real time, often without you ever knowing. They can listen in, record, and even manipulate your calls, turning what should be a private moment into a potential security risk. This invasion of privacy isn't just unsettling, it can have serious consequences. Hackers can steal your personal information, access your bank details, or even use your private conversations for blackmail or fraud. The loss of sensitive data can impact your finances, your reputation, and your peace of mind. How do they do it? Hackers exploit weaknesses in mobile networks, Wi-Fi connections, and even popular VoIP services. Sometimes, the very infrastructure that carries your call can be compromised, exposing your words to those with the right tools and know-how. Attackers may target your personal device, the network you're connected to, or the larger systems that transmit your call. Each point along this chain is a potential vulnerability, and hackers are constantly searching for new ways to break in. That's why understanding these attack points is so important. By learning how hackers operate, you can take steps to protect yourself and your conversations. Knowledge is the first step toward security. We'll dive into the methods hackers use, like social engineering, which tricks you into revealing information, malware, which can infect your phone and record your calls, and even physical hardware that can be secretly attached to your devices or phone lines. Our goal isn't to scare you, but to empower you. By understanding the risks, you'll be better prepared to defend yourself and your loved ones. We want you to feel confident, not paranoid, as you use your phone every day. By the end of this video, you'll know how these attacks work, what signs to look out for, and most importantly, how to secure your conversations so you can communicate safely and privately. Remember, knowledge is your best defense against the unseen listener. Stay informed, stay alert, and take control of your privacy. The world of hacking isn't always about complex code or high-tech gadgets. Sometimes, the most powerful weapon is the human mind. Social engineering is a common hacking method that relies on psychological manipulation rather than technical skill. It's the art of tricking people into giving up confidential information, often without them even realizing it. Hackers are experts at exploiting human trust and curiosity. They know that people are often the weakest link in any security system. By pretending to be someone you trust, like a coworker, a bank representative, or a tech support agent, they can gain access to sensitive information such as passwords, account numbers, or even your personal identity. 
Imagine you receive a call from someone claiming to be your service provider. They sound professional and convincing, and they urgently ask for your password to verify your account. In the moment, it's easy to believe them. After all, they seem to know a lot about you already. But this simple trick can give them complete control over your phone line, allowing them to intercept calls, reset your accounts, or even lock you out of your own devices. The consequences can be devastating, from financial loss to identity theft. Phishing emails or texts are another favorite tool of social engineers. These messages often look official, using logos and language that mimic real companies. They might urge you to click a link or download an attachment, claiming your account is at risk or that you've won a prize. One careless click can reveal your credentials or install malware on your device. Once hackers have your information, they can set up call forwarding, listen in on your conversations, or even impersonate you to your contacts. The attack doesn't always end with one phone call or email. It can spiral into a much larger breach. The best defense against social engineering is healthy skepticism. Always be cautious of unsolicited requests for personal information, no matter how urgent or convincing they seem. Take a moment to think before you respond. Remember, legitimate companies rarely, if ever, ask for sensitive data like passwords or pins over the phone or through email. If something feels off, trust your instincts and don't be afraid to say no. If you're ever unsure, verify the request by contacting the company directly using contact details from their official website or your account statement. Never use the contact information provided in a suspicious message. By staying alert and being careful with your information, you can shut the door on social engineers and protect yourself from falling victim to their tricks. Your vigilance is your strongest shield. Hackers use malware to infiltrate your device, recording keystrokes and stealing data. Malware can disguise itself as legitimate apps, spying on you without your knowledge. Download apps only from official stores like Google Play or Apple App Store. Phishing links can also install malware secretly on your device. Protect your phone by being cautious about downloads and links. Keep your phone's OS and apps updated to patch vulnerabilities. Consider installing a reputable mobile security app for extra protection. IMSE catchers or fake cell towers intercept phone calls by posing as legitimate towers. Your phone connects to the strongest signal, unknowingly linking to the hacker's device. This man-in-the-middle attack allows hackers to record your conversations. IMSI catchers can force phones to use insecure connections, making calls easy to decrypt. Protecting against these attacks is challenging, but encrypted calling apps can help. These apps ensure intercepted calls remain unintelligible to hackers. SS7 vulnerabilities in global telecom networks allow hackers to intercept calls. SS7, designed in the 1970s, assumed only trusted operators had access. Hackers exploit this outdated system to track phones and intercept communications. They can redirect calls to numbers they control, listening in as a silent third party. This network-level attack is invisible to users, with no malware or fake towers involved. Mobile operators are responsible for securing SS7, but the old system persists. Use end-to-end -end encrypted apps for sensitive conversations to bypass vulnerable networks. You can improve phone call security with practical steps. Use end-to-end -end encrypted apps like Signal or WhatsApp for sensitive conversations. These apps scramble calls, making intercepted data meaningless. Practice good digital hygiene. Keep your phone and apps updated. Be selective with app downloads, sticking to official stores. Secure your device with strong passcodes or biometric authentication. Enable two-factor authentication for online accounts to add extra security. Your awareness and vigilance are your strongest security assets. Stay informed about cybersecurity trends and scams. Be skeptical of unexpected communications asking for personal info. Scammers create urgency to make you act without thinking. Pause and think critically about requests to prevent breaches. Monitor your device for unusual behavior, like fast battery drain or data spikes. Investigate suspicious apps and uninstall if necessary. Share cybersecurity knowledge with friends and family to build collective defense. We've explored various hacking methods to empower you, not instill fear. Understanding risks helps you neutralize them and protect your privacy. Use encrypted apps and practice good digital hygiene for security. Stay informed and make cybersecurity a lifelong learning process. Your cautious actions are your most effective security tool.
Support Cybernexia by subscribing and sharing our content. Your support helps us continue educating and protecting people. Stay safe, stay informed, and thank you for being part of the Cybernexia community.